Now today, I'm gonna to introduce you to what are gradients? So let's begin. Now the word gradient can also be interchanged with the word slope. Gradient and slope refer to the same thing. They refer to describing how steep a line is. Now knowing how steep something is can be rather important in a number of different areas. However, before we get too far, let's learn about the four different types of gradients that we can have. Now when we're describing gradients, I like to think about gradients by reading them from left to right. Now in our first line that we've got here, when we read this from left to right, we're going uphill, we're climbing up. Now when we're climbing uphill in our gradient, we refer to that as a positive gradient and we give this a positive value. But if we read a line left to right, like the second one we've got here, and it's going downhill, we refer to downhill being a negative gradient and we give that gradient a negative value. But of course, there are two special situations that can also occur. What if we've got something that's completely level? It's horizontally flat. Well, this kind of gradient can be referred to as the neutral gradient or the zero gradient. And it gets the name zero gradient because we give the gradient a value of zero. And then the other special situation we've got is what if we have a vertical gradient, one that's directly up and down? Well, we give this special case a special name. We refer to these vertical gradients as an undefined gradient, and the value that we give it is also undefined. So let's quickly recap those scenarios. If we're reading it from left to right, and it's going uphill, we call that a positive gradient, and we give it a positive value. However, if we read it from left to right, and it's going downhill, we call that a negative gradient, and we give it a negative value. There are two special situations. What if it's not going up or down, but it's perfectly flat? Well, we call these a neutral gradient, or a zero gradient, and the value that we give it is zero. And then finally, what if it's going straight up and down, it's vertical? Well, we call this special situation an undefined gradient. And if we're gonna give it a value, we call it an undefined value. But I wanna have a look a little bit more deeply about positive gradients and negative gradients. So let's take a look. Now obviously when we're talking about positive and negative gradients, they can have different levels of steepness. But how do we tell the difference between these levels? Well, we tell the difference by how positive or how negative our number that we use to describe that line. For example, let's just focus on the positive gradients up the top here. On the left hand side, you can see that we've got a much steeper line than we have on the right hand side. Well, how do we describe these? Well, on the left here, because it's steeper, we actually give it a larger positive value to describe this line. Whereas where a gradient is less steep, we give it a smaller positive value to describe that gradient. For example, if I was to compare the gradient of 1 to the gradient of 10, 10 is a larger positive number. So therefore, the gradient of 10 is a steeper positive gradient. And the same can be held true for negative gradients. In the bottom left hand corner here, we've got a negative gradient that's steeper than the negative gradient to the right of it. Now, we use a larger negative value to describe that steeper negative gradient. So of course, on the bottom right here, because it's going down as we go left to right, it's still a negative gradient, but it's not as steep as what we had in the bottom left. So when the negative gradient is less steep, still gonna be a negative value, but it's gonna be a smaller negative value. Now you might be thinking at this point, how do we tell what those gradients are? But that is for a future video. For now, let's quickly recap positive and negative gradients. When a gradient is steeper, we give it a larger positive or negative value. However, when a gradient is less steep, we give it a smaller positive or negative value. So in front of me now, I've got some questions that I want you to go through to recap what we learned. Now, in part one, I want you to copy and complete the following sentences, filling out the word that's missing. 
When you get to the part about parallel lines, I'll give you the hint. Draw those parallel lines and think about for a moment what would the gradient of each line be in comparison to each other. Then in part two of this, I want you to use those four lines I've given to answer those questions.